here from Drake Week Gamers, so if you don't be on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class Arcs episode. So episodes are different than paths in this. Um, uh, the next one I'm going to do is Lars episode. Because I, uh, I thought that the episodes were just their paths, but no, it's bonus content. So yeah, so before we jump into Mark's uh, path, we're going to do Lars' episode. Anyway, guys, please sit back and enjoy. I'm going to you for the next 20 minutes and let's, 18 minutes, and let's jump right in. Alarm sign, you're up. Let's go. All right. <sighs> oh, crap. He didn't see me yesterday. <clears throat> oh, crap. He didn't see me yesterday, did he? I hope not. Then again, I thought he looked familiar. Maybe he knows something. I should, uh, should come up with something clever. No, I should just avoid the question altogether. Can I borrow a pen? I forgot to bring mine. It's the only thing I can say, because I did not bring a pen. Uh, a pen. Ah! Uh, yeah, sure. He, pull, he pulls out an old-looking pencil case. That's one old pencil case, but... Because I have that one at home. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate it. And I can't believe you still have that kind of pencil case. It looks old, like ancient. Maybe consider an upgrade. <laughs> That's what I did. I upgraded mine. Uh... Well, you're right, but someone gave it to me a long time ago. And it still works great anyway. I kind of treasure it now. Fair point. Someone gave it to him. Wait, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Looks like he's contemplating something again. This guy is beyond help. Say, you're into big guys like him, huh? What? Bingo. Everything good over there? Y yeah, I, I saw something moving under the desk and I was surprised. Sorry. The classmates are giggling and he looks embarrassed. Poor guy. Maybe I shouldn't bother him anymore now. He taps on my back, trying to get my attention. I spared him, but he's looking for trouble, it seems like. Well, be my guest. Well, what were you talking about? He mumbled something about his body. I can hear you clearly. It wasn't It wasn't about my type. Similar, though. <laughs> Nobody would just cobble another dude's body like that. Somebody would. <laughs> At least they wouldn't do it with a predatory look like yours. Uh, is that so? <laughs> It's cool, no worries. I don't think it's a bad thing. More like, I don't really care. Yeah, it's not my business anyway. No, we haven't really introduced ourselves. I should do that. Well, I'm Mark. It's nice to meet you, Henry. I can tell that he's amazed, panic right now. Heh, <laughs> the look on your face is really something. Your name is written on your book. It is written there, but I just noticed that and used that as an excuse. I, just, I can't just tell him that I overheard his conversation with his mother the other day, can I? Ah, <laughs> it's nice to meet you too, Mark. Yep. I should listen to the lecture once in a while. Now that my mood is good, I think he might. I think he noticed that, that and does the same. Class concluded. Since I don't want to stay here any longer, I quickly pack all my stuff into my backpack. I'm so slow putting his stuff away, and I'm getting a little bit impatient. I tap his hand and give him back that pen he lent me. Hey, here's your pen. Thanks for lending it to me. Ah, yeah, no worries. You heading home after this? No, I'm still very new around here, so I'm gonna walk around the campus. I knew it! I thought it's weird that I've never seen you around here until today. <laughs> I said that because I don't want him to get suspicious about me being curious about him. Well, there's nothing really interesting to visit around here. It's just a bunch of smartasses sitting around talking their taking their sweet time to study. What? If you want a if you want a four from me today, no can do. No, want a tour? Want a four? You want a four from me today? If you want a tour from me today, no can do. Even if you need advice on where to go, for starters, I'd suggest you visit the cafeteria. Trust me, they have good food there. Where can I find the cafeteria? It's not that far from here. You can find it easily. Just head out of this class and keep going left. It's at the end of the other hallway. Oh, and it has a big sign, too, so you won't miss it unless you're blind or something. Heck, even blind guys can follow the smell. All right. Maybe you can visit the school gym. Coach might be might be there around this time. It's gonna be fun seeing his reaction toward our coach. Just to make things easier for him to try to figure out, I wink. Depending on what kind of guy you are, you might like or dislike him a lot. He's an interesting person, at least. I'm really sure he's your type, whether like whether you like his personality or not. Really now, what's this about my type? Call it my cat sense. <laughs> But be careful around him. He'll devour you when you least expect it. Uh, okay. He'll thank me later. We'll see about that. 
Hmm, other than that, I don't think there's anywhere worth visiting. It's not like I spend my time here anyway. I'm out of here as soon as the class concludes. But if you're planning to go to the city, hit me up. Oh, I'll keep that in mind. Yep, see you around. See ya. I was hoping he'd ask me to show him around after I said I can't give him a tour. Eh, he didn't. Disappointing. And again, it's my fault for saying things like that. I'll grab something to eat while I'm here. That look sounds good right now. I say it as if I don't go there whenever I get the chance, which is almost every day. Yes, in a hurry like usual. What's your plan today? You know me. <laughs> Same place again? Yep, my tree. You shouldn't keep treating people like that. Why not? It's not like I have somewhere else. Or it's not like I have somewhere or something to spend it on anyway. What about something you like? You have them all at home. Well, guys like me won't understand. You don't have to. How about charities? I won't do that. Why not? I don't want to, so I won't do it. It's as simple as that. I'm about the type to pretend to be a good person that donates to charities, well, that's, that's not who I am. It's not like I care deeply about what people think of me anyway. Fair enough. Some people, uh, some people I know keep pestering me about not being generous or whatever. Like, dude, it's my money. I spend it however I want. It's not your business. I won't get on your case for not doing that, so I expect you to do the same. Heck, even if I donate to some charities, which I'm sure someday I would consider, would consider how World Affairs is doing right now, I wouldn't tell anyone. I don't need to flaunt it in front of everyone as if I'm saying, Hey, look at me. I have money. I'm a good person. I, I donate. It's just not my thing. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, hey, look how much money I donated to this charity. Oh, uh, this person donated millions of dollars. We're going to have uh, a plaque in his honor, like, kind of goes against the whole charity thing, because you're getting something out of it, you're getting recognition, fame, like, eh, it's an ego boost, yes, I know, but come on, at some point in your life, you gotta do something, you gotta do something, with something. right, I get you. that being said, shall we go now, lead the way, so, you're gonna stay here until sunset, like usual? Yeah, no, I got something to do. Huh, that's new. Something has caught my attention. I need to find out about something. And let me guess, the new guy? How did you know? Mark, please, I've known you for years. When you asked about the new guy, it was the first time you did that, actually. You've never taken any interest around a new, toward a new student at all. Even in high school, when you were the new guy, you never showed interest toward any of us. It's like you live in your own world, and then suddenly earlier, that happened. That's so. That is so. Well, everything changes, for bad or worse. You're being wise for a change. It's refreshing. Shut it. Just eat your food. Yes, sir. No, it's not really like me. I don't, I don't know why myself. Ah, it's so good. Public's food court, man. For pride and joy. Well, I gotta run now, so catch you tomorrow. Yep. To walk out, I... As I walk out, I catch Anders standing next to Publix. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, that's a sure sign of hesitation. Eh, you don't want to tell him, tell me that's fine. I'm uh, going home now. You coming with me? No, I'll be here for a while. Sure. See you tomorrow. Yeah, whatever you're doing, good luck. Thanks, Mark. Walks in while I sit here all by myself waiting for the bus to arrive. I think the next bus will be here in three minutes. I still play one song. I put up the rhythm game I bought years ago. A new album just got released and I haven't had any chance to try it yet. It's gonna change at this moment. What game, you ask? It's just a rhythm game. There's a weird name and there's this character that looks like a looks like the Slender Man. Instead of scaring the shits out of the players, he plays the piano for a girl. Good game. Five out of five. I recommend. Not as good as I thought it'd be. Oh well. The bus arrived around the same time I finished the song. Here it is. Oh, you! Yes! Oh. Mark, right? That... <clears throat> That's me. You remember me? Yeah, you're the guy I met yesterday who happened to be my English literature professor. Yeah. Mr. Stone, isn't it? Hmm? Call me Mr. P call me Parker if you want. I'm not sure I can do that. <laughs> I might be a jerk, but I respect people sometimes. Parker, then? What's with him? What's with Mr. Stone? That's okay, too. Look, I need to stay here all day and chat, but the bus isn't going to wait for me. 
generally know you, but please don't get too close to me. Like I said, I respect people. I'm just on sometimes. Right, sorry about that. Don't let me stop you. I wasn't planning to. Yeah. See you tomorrow, Mark. Yep. That was weird. I'd give him another thought. I'd hop on and sit down wherever I want. Wherever I want. My bus is almost dying here. Everyone has their own ways to get around the town. Whether it's my personal vehicle or online rides. That's fine for folks like me. It's a blessing. I don't have to feel bad for not letting a pregnant lady sit down on my seat when I don't want to give it to her. Still let her sit down, mind you. I'm selfish, but not that selfish until the point I'm self-absorbed. God, I'm so sleepy. I'm gonna get a nap later, but I have to do my research. Rest for the wicked. I said that, but it's actually... It's actually my fault for not sleeping when I could. I'm just too prideful to admit that at the moment. This occurred to me that I've been talking to myself quite a lot today. The therapist said it's normal and actually good for my mental health. Well, you gotta believe what the experts say, even though I'm not sure if that's true, but if it's gonna help me, I'm gonna give it a try. Also, please don't ask why I'm a therapist. I won't tell. Isn't that? I stared out the window. I saw my dad's car parked next to the small shack by the paddy field. I wonder, if that's, I wonder what he was doing there. Probably none of my business, anyway. Well, I realize I haven't talked about my dad. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't, I don't know him enough. I hate this thing. I hate stairs. Bustle with life. For calm and peace. But there are some advantages to living in the city. I can get whatever I want easily there. I imagine when you want to buy a new game that there's no game store nearby. I'd die. Well, I'd probably not die, but I wouldn't want to have a new, but I wouldn't have a new game to play because I'd be too lazy to order one online. I don't trust deliveries. I often handle things without care. Happened to my Z box once. I have trust issues. <laughs> I wonder if I should stop by the arcade while I'm here. No, I shouldn't procrastinate more. Dad's not home at the moment, so I should hurry back and find my old stuff in his room, pronto. Rush home, I did. I'm home. The place is big. Maybe too big. It feels empty. I miss when we had a small house. Mom was still here. Brother would still leave the room, and Dad was just a normal salesperson. Good time for being sentimental. I need to go to his room and find what I need. I go up the second floor, trying near Dad's room, but he's got it locked. Figures. I try to pick his lock, but he took my tools away. I can see fucking why you tried to pick his damn door before, didn't you? Well, drastic times go for drastic measures. I get some of my bobby pins out from my pocket, and fortunately, his lock is wide enough for me to have for it to enter. Don't ask me why I have bobby pins in my pocket or why I can pick a lock. It's better that you don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I gotta be quick about this. Dad always appears when I least expect it. Gotta wiggle this here. Think. There we go. If I was in an RPG game, I'd be a thief easily. And thieves are not usually gigantic. Thieves aren't usually the size of a Stardis. Hope no one finds out about this, or I'll be in big trouble. I enter his room as quick as I can, trying to find out where he put all of our old stuff in. There's a suspicious wall that looks off. Maybe this is it. Thud. Crack. Ow! I think I hit my head in something. Yeah, spiders! Okay, I think this is it. Let's head back before he's home. After going inside my dad's room for a little adventure, I bring back an old box that was supposed to be stuff from my childhood. Maybe a lot of other stuff there, too. For example, these rodent droppings. Ew! I think we should call rat exterminators. I'd be dead if the exterminators were rat beastmen, though. I've told you that there are two kinds of us, right? The beastmen kind and the usual kind those humans know before we existed. Hell, calling them can wait. I need to clean this shit first. Quite literally, too. After several minutes of cleaning the box from dust and other things, it finally looks less disgusting. Now, let's see what's inside. Any moment now. I'll open it soon. Why am I hesitating? Truth be told, I'm not ready to open this little thing. I'm afraid that when I do, I'll be disappointed. And possibly regret my decision. I need to prepare myself mentally. Huh. It's apparently two hours sitting here to prepare myself mentally. Well, I said that, but I actually got distracted and played games and played games instead. <sighs> That's his dad, isn't it? Yeah, right. Marco, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. What do you want? I brought dinner for us. Okay, in a bit. Well, who can decline food? Yeah, who? Well, who can decline food offers? 
Marco, have a seat. I know, I know. I just let me wash my hands first. I walked to the sink and washed my hands before sitting across from him. I brought your favorite, Nessie Udo from Publix Food Court. Oh, well, he's not wrong about that being my favorite. But thanks, Dad. Anything for you, my son. Times like these is when I feel bad for acting like this to him. Why is he being so nice to me while I act like shit on, shit on crack toward him? But then, the, but then the memories of my past slowly creep in. He deserves all my hate. If anything, I'm still generous for talking with him. That's how it goes. I feel bad for him when he shows me his kindness. Then I remember what he did to us in the past, and I'll start hating him again. It's an unending, it's an unending cycle. I try not to think about it that much. Where's brother? He's not eating? He, uh, he said he wants to eat in his room. It's not surprising. What did you get for yourself? Oh, I got fried rice. It's the same one your mom used to cook for us. Is it? Yeah, do you want to try it? I'm good. What? Don't give me that face. I know you, I know what you're going to ask. I don't miss her at all. She left us for some random dude. Don't start, Marco. What? Isn't that the truth? It must be because the two of you... It must be because of you that she left us to rot here. Don't say that! He howled. That means he's furious. Hmm. Ah, I'm sorry. He left the table and went back to his room. Fuck, I overdid it. Again, he slammed the door in anger. The same door that I lockpicked earlier. Huh. As much as I hate his guts, I should go apologize. I'm not the apologetic type, but it was my fault. He left his food here, too. Huh, what a pain. I eat my food as quick as I can, so I can bring him his food sooner than later. Ugh, what a horrible feeling. Not being able to savor my favorite food? I had to vore the whole thing. Oh my god. I guess I had to. Now, let's bring this food to him and apologize. I thought he would be in his room right now, regretting his decision. But he sits here in the living room, smoking his life out. I thought you don't smoke anymore. I don't. It's candy. Mint. Right. Explains why, explains why I don't see smoke coming out of it. It's just the act of smoking that I miss. Kind of a ritual for me. Whatever you want, old man. Here, just you didn't finish your food. Yeah. I'm sorry about earlier. Hmm? You apologized? Yeah, don't make me repeat myself. Thank you, and I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's whatever. I'm going back to my room. At least I came back feeling full. Forgetting what I was doing before dinner, I jump onto my bed. Ugh! Sleepy. Although not for long, I immediately notice it's sitting there. No, not yet. I need to see what's inside. Hmm. Here goes. Whatever's inside this box, I'm ready. When I open the box, there are a lot of things I don't remember seeing. One thing that gets my attention is an old picture of me and my brother and some kids I've never seen before. I should ask Dad. Of course, I can't do that. He'll know that I went to, he'll know that I went to his room and rummaged through his things. It's like admitting to Santa that I've been a bad boy. I mean, you do you. Tell him that you've been a bad boy. Maybe he'll give you a punishment for being bad. Not like he exists, anyway. Sorry about that, kids. Wait, these two. There's no mistaking it. It must be Henry. I didn't know he has a twin just like me. Now I know why now I know why I was getting weirdly now I know why I was getting weirdly interested in him. Alright, guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Characters seem to know each other. Interesting. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Ah, oh. ah sorry, I was a yawn. A strange yawn from a strange person. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.